Have you ever seen a receptacle or an outlet that's installed on a wall upside down like this? Do you think that's illegal or not? Well, we'll find out. So stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So you just probably moved into your brand new home, you're, ready, you're excited, you're ready to renovate, and you look around your house and you see some of the outlets, they are facing upside down like this. Do you think that's illegal or not? Or someone just pretty much was on the, having a bad day and they installed it wrong. And you've probably seen upside down outlets like this on other people's houses or somewhere out there in a commercial building or whatnot. Well, before you do anything, it's a good thing that you tuned into this video because I'm gonna show you what it says on the NEC electrical code book. If we flip through it, you're not gonna find it in here. It's not written in the electrical code book, friends. You install these. It's anywhere. It's whatever orientation that you want. There's no illegal. There's nothing that says on the NEC that you can't install it upside down. You can't even install it sideways if you like or any orientation, side, angle, whatever suits your needs. But you always have to take into consideration what it says or what the manufacturer says. Notice that these two outlets are both different brands. One's residential, one's commercial. So you pretty much gonna have to read the box, go look at the packaging and see if they specifically say that you need to install it like this, upside down or sideways. Now, do you know any place in your house that an outlet is installed like this, upside down? Well, if you said garage, then you got it right. Now, let me show you what it looks like on my garage door opener and how it's plugged in up in the ceiling. So here's my garage door opener. And if we follow the plug, there you have it. There's an example, an upside down outlet installed on your ceiling. So let's talk about safety. What are the advantages of you installing your outlet or your receptacle upside down like this? If you have a three prong plug and it's installed like so, and let's just say um, it was kind of sticking out a little bit, then you have the conductors exposed like this. Say that this outlet is installed underneath your workbench and this is installed, this outlet is right underneath and I have a lot of clutter and I'm working on a woodworking job and I'm nailing down some stuff and a, a nail falls down and it pretty much, if it hits this, boom, it's not gonna cause an arc, it's not gonna cause a short or whatnot, it's just gonna hit it and pretty much fall off and that's pretty much it. But if it was plugged in the other way, like so, and this falls down and makes contact with the hot and the neutral, it's gonna cause your circuit breaker to trip or it's gonna cause an arc and it's gonna spark or whatnot, and it could possibly cause a fire like that. Let's just say one out of a million, this thing, this, this nail or a paper clip falls and it lands right there. It's gonna start sparking, arcing, and could possibly cause a fire depending on what's it's on surroundings. So friends, if you're finding this video super helpful so far, please kindly hit that like button down below. It'll greatly help out the channel and it'll also help spread out to more people and help people out. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Today's world, you're gonna see mostly two prong plugs just like this. So it really doesn't even matter whether you plug it in like this or if it's installed like this. Either way, no matter what, if something falls between there, it's gonna cause a spark or an arc. And yeah, so, but for that, it's pretty much up to you where you want to install it. But if you want to install it sideways like this, it's totally up to you. Just make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions and recommendations, because if you don't, that's going to be a big issue. It's always very, very serious to go and follow what the manufacturer says on their brand. Okay. Here's an example of where you would want your outlet to be installed like this. So I do apologize. My outlet doesn't match my, my cover, but this only makes sense. Some of these plugs are built like this for clearance purposes. Say if it's installed behind a uh, entertainment center, a desk, and it does it 90 out. But if this plug was installed upside down, then you're gonna have this thing pretty much installed like this. And you don't want that because now it's gonna create stress on the wire right here and could possibly spark or create a short or start arcing later on because it's gonna start putting stress on this bend right there. So pretty much it's gonna be like this now. For me personally, I like to install them with the ground pin portion facing down like this 
because let's just let's just face it. it it looks like a happy face or like an old face just like this like that so i always stuck with this position most of the plugs that i buy my tools and whatnot are only two prong plugs like these so it really doesn't matter whether you go upside down like this or this i do see the safety advantage of this but you, you can't, it's, it's totally up to you. Plus nowadays you can get outlets that are arc fault protection, which pretty much the circuit will open up, which will prevent any arcing and any of that uh, sparking from happening. So yeah, it's built in safety feature now for outlets, which are pretty awesome in my opinion. Quick recap once again, is it illegal to install your outlets on this position upside down with the ground facing up? Totally doesn't matter. It's not written on the NEC code book. You can totally install this any direction, position that you want, upside down, uh, facing up. But again, just, you know, with common sense, you don't want to install this facing up just like this when there's water involved. Like say you install this near a sink or whatnot and it starts dripping off your countertop to the outlet. You don't want that to happen. So just make sure you use common sense and you position this on the right place and you use the right GFCI ones if it's near any type of water in the bathroom or in the kitchen, okay? So with that being said, friends, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to know your opinion. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the outlet facing up like, like this, upside down like this, sideways, upside down? What is your preferred position for these outlets? Because yeah, for me, I've always liked it this way that's how i grew up and that's mostly stuff nowadays are two prong plugs my biggest takeaway for this is installing it upside down like this will probably be your safest bet like what you saw that if a paper clip or a nail or any type of material or a coin even falls and makes contact with those conductors it will not spark because it will hit the ground first but then again what are the chances of that happening it's pretty much the risk that is involved on these things and pretty much if you're not using that table for any clutter or whatnot, there's pretty much no chance of that happening. But again, it's totally up to you, your condition, it's your house, and you can do whatever you want to do with it. Just make sure that you practice safe practices on where you're installing these on its locations. So once again, friends, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this video. I like your suggestions. Let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see on an electrical video next, and I'll try to post that up. With that being said, friends, I'm Jay from Fix This House. Thank you so much. Please hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll see you, friends, on the next one.